We are counting down the days to RebelCon, and virtual passes are now available at an early bird discount of $200 off the normal ticket price. This virtual pass gets you live access to all general sessions with our expert keynote speakers, as well as links to view the sessions later. This deal will end soon, so get your RebelCon virtual passes now. Hit the QR code for more info or visit rebelcon.marketrebellion.com. Hello, folks, and welcome to Unusual Option Activity, also known as Three at Three, because at three o'clock every business day, which I teased you about at uh, 1245 p.m. Uh, this afternoon, uh, we bring you Unusual Option Activity. And Unusual Option Activity is when we see large purchases of call options or large purchases of put options. We believe the People making those purchases um, are well-informed and are looking for a leveraged return. Not just a one-to-one -one return, uh, but a leveraged return. And as I'll show you during today's program, some of those returns can be staggering. So uh, let's get started with today's three at three for the 24th of August. Cano is one of those trades. This is Cano Health, by the way. So you already know that Signify Health is being pursued by Apple, uh, not by Apple, I'm sorry, Amazon and CVS and others. And as they've been pursued, um, many of the competitors are also seeing some pretty nice lift. We saw this when the stock was below five. It was 560, as you can see, when we posted it two days ago. And Cano Health has now, uh, just moments ago, it was trading $6.79. It has traded over $7 today. Now, if you were somebody that, for instance, followed us and got in at, let's say, $5.60, and you're selling now at $6.84, you made $1.24. Fantastic. I'm happy for you. Um, but think about what you did. You invested um, at $5.60. For 1,000 shares, that's $5,060. Um, and you made, um, what, uh, $1,200. That is a fabulous return. So how about this one? How's this return? If you um, had traded the options as we did, which were uh, 35 and 40 cents when we made that post, well, those options hit $1.65 today. So uh, and we're still $1.36 a little bit ago. So the point here being that you risked a lot less. For instance, let's say you paid the offer and you paid 40 cents. Every option is for 100 shares. So if you were simulating a 1,000 share position, you'd buy 10 of those options. So $40 times 10, you invested $400, less than a tenth of what you would have invested had you bought 1,000 shares of stock. And the return, well, you turned that $40 um, into $1.60, 4X, four. And I don't mean FX, like that kind of 4X, I mean four times uh, the original investment. Pure profit of 300%. Because if you'd sold for $1.60, um, your $400 investment would be worth $1,600 dollars, again, on a $400 investment. So think about that. We defined our risk on entry, and we were able to take a big chunk of money out of a small investment. So again, defining your risk and making more money. That's what we try to do with every one of our trades. And when it's not working, we cut the loss quickly, which you also need to focus on. This is the Rebel Edge. We'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. The Rebel Edge is my brother Pete and I with a one minute take on macro issues. One minute, why? Because that's all you need. You don't need to belabor the point for 30, 40 minutes of a program. Um, you can talk about macro and what's gonna happen and then hit four topics 
that we believe are market moving or have already moved the market and our reaction to that, then we do two bits of unusual option activity for that show, separate from this one. And then we do a little sports because for those of you who don't know, Pete and I both played pro football. My career was significantly shorter than Pete's. Um, I played four games. Pete played six years. He has a championship ring from the uh, World League uh, where he was the number one pick in that league after coming out of, uh, uh, at that time, I think his last stint was with the uh, then Los Angeles Raiders. But anyway, so Pete has a great show that he does on Sunday called the Sports Huddle. He does it with his buddy, Maxi, and this goes out on the Odyssey Network um, broadcasting to literally hundreds of thousands of people Sundays from 10 until noon central time. So anyway, that's a little breakdown of unusual option activity and what Pete does with his weekends. Six flags. We talked about it yesterday, just yesterday. Again, um, if you had purchased a thousand shares, it would be a $24,000 investment. And that $24,000 investment would have made you approximately um, $1,300 because it's up about a dollar 30 ish from that purchase price. On the other hand, our September calls moving far more with far less risk. And it's outperforming the market, obviously, both stock and options, because the stock is up 4.47% today. Bang. RebelCon 2022. Um, by all means, folks, we are nearly out. They extended us a few more rooms and a few more seats, but RebelCon is nearly sold out. So if you want to join us, it's the 21st of September. Go to marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas to learn more. RebelCon, we've got uh, lots of great opportunities to talk one-on-one -on -one with us, um, with all of our coaches and mentors, see if there's a program you'd like. Um, also, we have a lot of guest speakers arriving. Um, Brian Sullivan's going to be there. Bryn Talkington's going to be there. Tom Lee is going to be there. We've got some surprise guests that we're going to be telling you about as well. It's a great few days. Golf tournament, armadillo races, barbecues, two days of live trading. Go to marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas to learn more. All right. First of our bits of unusual today. This one, Tech Resources, T-E-K. As you might imagine, um, they are in the natural resource area of the world. And it's $35 stock. They're buying the September 37 calls. Those calls don't expire this week. They expire four weeks from now. Nonetheless, that's on the fast part of the um, decay curve. These options have to be something or they're nothing very quickly. That's why I frequently tell you that I am doing one-to-one -one call spreads, buying and at the money, selling and out of the money. I'm not buying those 37s because the stock is here, pardon me, at 35. I am buying the 35s. As it rallies, I will unload more calls into it. That's the first of today's three at three. Virtual, yeah, I just described to you RebelCon um, in Dallas, Texas, 21st through 24th. We've had a fabulous response. And for good reason, the RebelCon virtual tickets go up at midnight tomorrow, Thursday, the 25th. At midnight, on the 25th, you will pay $200 more than you'll pay right now. So by all means, please, folks, if you'd like to get that virtual ticket for $200 off, go to marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas. All right, AMD. I told you I was going to give you three at three today. I'm actually going to give you four because two of them are indeed uh, uh, semi-stocks, semiconductors. Um, so one of them's AMD advanced micro devices, 93 bucks. They're buying the Friday expiring 94 calls, two days, two for you to be right and make money on this call. Um, that means you've got to cut losses fast. Also means you got to take profits fast. I will do both. Um, I am in the AMD trade as well as this one, the third of today's three at three SMH was, which is the semi-holders 
ETF. Um, it's trading 228.71. Somebody says, you know what? October 250s, gimme, gimme, gimme. Let me buy those. And they did. 5,900. 5,900 is nearly 600,000 share equivalent of a $228 stock or ETF. That's a big purchase, folks. The tens of millions of dollars that that controls is staggering. We're talking 100 million plus in uh, per, uh, stock control with the purchase of these calls. I like to follow those. As you know, I'm buying at the monies. My intention is to sell one-to-one -one against it as we rally. And I told you I'd have a bonus. Here's your bonus coming up. Yes, RebelCon, marketrebellion.com forward slash Dallas, but also CCJ. Boy, we've had everything from UUU to Camco CCJ um, to the uranium ETF trading aggressively today. Somebody's in there buying a lot of uranium. Why? Well, because nukes are getting back in vogue um, because of what has happened with both the war and the sanctions. So CCJ, $26 stock, they're buying the October 25 calls. In other words, they're buying an in the money call. These calls are worth intrinsically, which means in the money, intrinsically $1.66. Why is that, John? Because the right to buy it at 25 when it's trading 26.66 is worth the differential there or $1.66. So somebody wants something that's going to move like stock with a lot less risk uh, than buying the $26 stock. So we followed them into this trade. CCJ, October 25, as you see there, nearly a million share equivalent, million shares of a $26 stock. You get the idea, $26 million investment. I want to follow. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, we are Market Rebellion. You can go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started if you would like to learn how to manage stock options and futures. Go to marketrebellion.com forward slash get started and you can get started and hopefully um, managing risk and making money. Bang. I'll see you tomorrow, folks. Have a good one. We'll be back with the Rebel's Edge 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow.